made of What if there was no one to save us Would you leave it all on the pavement Would you die the ground with some strange Hello YouTube, it is Kabusa's WTF here, and here today I'll be showcasing my ISO mod for Call of Duty 4 for the multiplayer side. Now, you're probably wondering, how is that possible? What are you talking about? This isn't going to work. You're joking. This is a sham. So let me go ahead and state this. This is a CFG-based mod menu for Call of Duty 4 via retail Xbox 360 ISO modding that can be used right on a retail console. However, you can use it but you also can't. That probably where I'm going to lose you. And you l let me explain myself. So you can't use this on the latest title update unless you have a friend who owns an RGH that will give you the infection to execute this mob menu. Now you're probably thinking, well, we can already do that by just joining an RGH user and just get an R2 R2 based infection. And yes, you can. By all means, go ahead. You're going to be sitting for 4 minutes, 5 minutes, 10 minutes, etc, etc, waiting on to get infected via an R2, R2, R2 base menu. Now, what I have done and created, it's a pretty shitty menu, it's very basic, and it's only to be used, well, designed to be used, only in private matches with close personal friends yours. Um, it takes three seconds to get this whole menu up and running, working, and playing. Um, I've not tested it in like actual online multiplayer besides private match with friends. It wasn't designed to be used in random online lobbies, breaking games, and all that shit. It's purely made to be enjoyed with your friends in a private match. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, if I have to already have an infection from our RGH or JTAG user, then what is the point of this and why do I need it and why is this interesting? Well, it's not. It's it's useless. That's the whole name of the mob menu and I'm only releasing this because I've had this on the back burner for a long, long time now. It's something me and my friend ISOCD had created a very long time ago and it's just one of those projects I've had on the back burner doing nothing with it. So maybe somebody will have a use out of it, maybe you won't, maybe you think this is stupid, and that's fine, I really don't care. Um, so unless you have an RGH friend that gives you the infection to actually execute this menu, you're not going to be able to use it, at least on the latest title update. Now, if you delete your title updates and go back to before there was no title updates, no DLC for this game, I'll actually show you a way to use it on a retail without having to have an RGH user. But for now, let's focus on latest title update online for private matches, stuff like that. So basically, um, the execute command in this game can basically run and read anything as if it's a CFG file. So basically what I did is I created a COD underscore intro dot big file that's actually a CFG file. All you have to do is have a friend have a RTM based tool that will just send this server command uh, as the like UI underscore map name MP bog uh, semicolon execute cod underscore intro dot bic. So as long as you know someone has an infection type that has execute cod underscore intro dot bic, you'll be able to execute these mob menu files straight off your game, straight off a of retail, you know ISO based burnt game. Uh, and you'll be able to use this menu. Um, as long as they're using the RTM tool to set the map name to be this, or if someone has a modified patch file or an RGH based mob menu or their own R2 R2 based menu with my infection, and the infection uh, code will actually be in the description below as well as in this download. Uh, so you can give your friend whoever that infection code so they'll know what to put in their patch in their R2 R2 based menu or through an RTM tool to just send the command to the game. That way you can get infected and play on this menu with private match to friends. Now, this is not revolutionary. This is nothing new. Uh, loading CFG files through the base game, this stuff's been known for de decades, <laughs> basically. Not really decades, but it's been long known for a very long time. This is nothing new. It's just no one's actually went and used this for a quote-unquote retail-based ISO mod for Call of Duty 4. Um, and I can't stress that enough. Th this is nothing major. It's useless. 
I don't see a lot of people using it, but it's content for you guys. It's another one of my old projects that I never released, and maybe somebody will get some use out of it. And you know, you can edit the menu, do whatever the fuck you want with it. You know, create one better for yourself and use this method for retail users. Um, but I have to like stress that to just let you guys know that it's you can't just use it outright on the latest tile update. You do have to have a friend in RGH. They will have to have the infection method, which is execute cod underscore intro dot bic as the infection type, so you'll load the uh, mob menu. Um, so basically, let, let's just go ahead and get in game, and I'll show you what's going on. So once you get the infection type, which should look similar to mine, again, infection code to be in the description below as well as in the download. Uh, you want to go ahead and back out to and go to uh, bare minimum split screen. What I like to do in split screen is just change my game mode to uh, free for all. And we're just going to go ahead and start the game on that checkerboard. Alright, and once you're in game, just press the uh, back button. And there you go. The useless CFG ISO mob menu will now load. Because what that checkerboard infection map was doing was executing a .bic file. And if you're ISO modding, that .bic file is actually a CFG file with the mob menu code, hence why it runs in the game. Now, this is nothing game breaking. This is nothing major. There are way, way, way better R2, R2 menus out there. This menu is not an R2, R2 menu where you can infect it player to player. I could make it do that, but I'm not going to. I don't feel like coding that up. And this is just something that I don't feel like looking at using uh, updating so it comes as is so feel free to do with it as you will um, again there's way better menus better R2 R2 menus the whole shabam like I said this was just a quick menu made for uh, friends for private match based use um, if you don't want to wait and get infected within three to ten minutes for a R2 R2 menu that may or may not work because you may miss a connection packet or two and if you ever miss a connection packet or two uh, while in someone's game of getting this getting R2 R2 based infections, there's a high chance you're going to miss very important infectable commands where the R2 R2 menu may or may not work. Uh, it, it's a whole process. I'm not going to explain the whole process of how that works and you know issues that can come from it. Um, the only perk here is you get this menu within 0.3 seconds and you have something to use. Uh, but it has your basic necessities like. XP, jump high, aim by, FOV, restart map. Um, a good bit of these options may not work in System Link and they may not work in split screen. I know they should all work perfectly in online private matches. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to give you a basic rundown here of like lasers, tracer, UAVs, unlimited sprint, sprint speed, walk speed, third person. You know, some fun stuff of that nature. Host check, floating bodies. You can toggle your scores. All the basic visions. I have a way to change to uh, the maps you can play on, change the game modes. Kill streaks, give yourself kill streaks. Define a player name to give yourself kill streaks or give the heli to. Uh, add bots, teleports, kick menu, fog and sun. Spoofer menu. And infections, I only have it to where it gives you prestige 10 or prestige 11, level 55, uh, max stats and unlocks. Uh, something I've never seen for infection wise, I've only seen it through GSC, is unlocking challenges. I've mapped out all the challenges uh, and due to it being so much code for the challenges, I had to split it between six infections. But you can now get uh, all the challenges through infections here. I have my modded classes and then I also have the ISO mod infection where you can give other players who have this ISO mod the infection so it'll execute for them. And then I have menu backgrounds, you know, all that fun stuff, a menu editor. You can change the colors. You can send custom commands, send custom messages. Uh, messages really only work best in actual online private matches through Xbox Live. Um, clan tag menus. 
you know, some stuff of that nature. Now, the offline menu only, um, that's only to be used if you're on no title updates uh, with my retail base method to get the menu, which, again, I will go over that here in a few minutes. Uh, like, it has the, the patch shit like God, no clip, give all, and the brick blaster weapon. Alright guys, and I'm just going to hush now. I'm just going to play around on this menu for a few minutes and then um, I'm going to show you how to get this working offline on no title updates without a RGA user. I feel nauseous, believe me. Never had a lot of shit come easy. Had to work hard, struggle just to be me. Had to rise up just so they could see me. Did what I had to do just to feed me. And what was left over, I put towards my dreaming. But the only thing in life that has meaning are the things you gotta work for, believe me. Take into your hands a plan, your own hands can land your own brand and damn I feel like no one takes accountability, they want the credibility Convincingly unwilling to put in the fucking hours It takes to get some power, don't be fucking sour Take a cold shower, scream until you're louder Work until you're prouder and fuck all the doubters They're just yeah. fucking downers I swear to God they all let me down I always fought just to wear the crown I'm pissed off at these fucking clowns Who were all taught they deserve an ounce It's only worth it if you work for it It's only worth it if you work for it I won't stop till they hear me now I won't stop till I wear the crown Got each other's back We used to cruise around with a bass to the mass Everyone at school while I was in the lab Cooking up some beats that would turn into tracks High school chilling, I was on a mission I had bigger dreams of being a musician Teachers always talked but I couldn't seem to listen I lived in a fantasy land, they called it fiction But I was gonna be big one day Playing shows on the road to a sold out stage Nobody really cared or believed I would make it Anywhere close I would fail in faith but that's cool, I love that Cause any little doubt gives me energy back And now, I'm in a place where I'm glad I never gave up on the dreams I had And big dreams lead to big things And big swings lead to big rings Championships or the big screen Anyone who did anything took a big swing And big dreams lead to big things And big swings lead to big rings Championships or the big screen Anyone who did anything took a big swing Yeah. 
Let's go. So if you want something big, you gotta swing fast, swing hard, and commit. You might miss ten times, but when you win, just make sure that you get all of it, okay? People at the top took risks. Investing and testing is all that they did. It's not complicated, it just takes grit. So never give up, take a swing at it. Uh. And big dreams lead to big things. And big swings lead to big rings. Championships or the big screen. Anyone who did anything took a big swing. And big dreams lead to big things. And big swings lead to big rings. Championships or the big screen. Anyone who did anything took a big swing. I can hear the demons call when they do what they do And now I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through I just gotta get through, I just gotta get through Cause I feel like taking off, find a place with the view The pain is never gonna stop if it's controlling you I know the time can heal it all, I just gotta get through Sometimes I feel like all is lost, but I know it's not true I wanna Put up all my walls cause I'm not in the mood But then I cut myself off from the rest of the room I know that I can heal it all if you're patient and soon It can all be worth it, all the searching Pain is never really permanent, but damn it hurts man I could feel all Alright now in this part of the video I'm going to be showing you how to use this ISO mod menu uh, For Call of Duty 4 for multiplayer, offline with no title updates And without having to um without having to rely on an RGH user. So you want to go to your system settings and go to storage, hover over your hard drive and press Y and click clear cache. And you want to do this about three times. After you've done that, you want to go ahead and boot up Call of Duty 4. And once you get on Call of Duty 4, if you're online, it'll ask you if you want to apply a game update. You just want to press the uh, cancel button or you want to press your guide button, which will auto cancel the update from updating or from downloading and updating the game. Just make sure you do not download the uh, title update for the game now the next thing you want to do is sign out of any profiles you are signed into and you want to sign into a profile I'm providing called COD4 Offline just sign into that profile and go to split screen once you are in split screen you'll see a checkerboard once you see a checkerboard sign out of that profile then sign back into your profile and if for some reason, you know, when you're doing this and the checkerboard doesn't pop up, just replace the profile on your USB or hard drive and it should work then. It just means that the infection stopped working. Um, but yeah, guys, just go ahead and sign into your normal profile now and go to split screen or system link or however you want to play and press the back button and you'll have the mob in you.